Okay, so we're here with Marley Zarconi, and we really want to hear all about Shade the Changing Girl. Uh, I'm a really big fan of Ditko's work, so oh, yeah. I followed a lot of it. And how much of there is a connection between what we see with Shade and what Ditko might have done previously? Well, Ditko, we're bringing back Melu and, uh, you know, Lauren, and we're bringing back some of the characters who were, she was, you know, one of the original people who was chasing down the Madness Fest. So we're bringing her in as a character in uh, this, this version of uh, Shade. So, yeah, she's actually going to be a, a good antagonist. Yeah. One of the things that a lot of DC readers I've been hearing about is the change with legacy characters. We'll see that you know certain characters are male, they become female. Certain characters were white, you know, they become black. But you know, DC is about legacy, and part of the legacy is the changing of those characters. So does any of that factor in with Shade the Changing Girl? Well, I mean, with Shade, um, Shade's former, especially the Vertigo version. I mean, he changed gender before. This isn't the first time that's happened. So um, you know, it, it's always been really flexible about uh, you know just where how they identify themselves because uh, the concept is madness, and the concept is you know how that's uh, you know obsession. Love, all these emotions, how they're manifesting through that best. So it's you know it doesn't really matter what the sex or you know she we're dealing with an alien who's putting on a vest and taking over the body of somebody because that's what happened before in the in the uh, the rack the rack shade with the you know the Vertigo series was he put on the vest and he took over the body of a serial killer. So you know we're kind of just doing something like that. It's, you know we can rack rack shade still exists. It's not uh, like we just, you know, got rid of him. And, yeah. <laughs> and he still exists in the universe. We're just adding something more to it. Through the the madness vest is almost more the, you know, the centerpiece route that links all of the books together. So, what's more challenging? Uh, say, turning out a page raid for Shade or like Mutant Ninja Turtles? Oh, I, I, Shade is like, it's really personal. I love it. I really love working on this book. It's been, you know, it's, it's really up my alley. Um, Turtles is fun to work on, but it was, you know, you're still working within the parameters of you're working on a licensed property, they have rules. And, um, you know, when, with this, I have a whole lot more flexibility. So, I'm, you know, I'm actually really enjoying this project a little, you know, I, I enjoyed working on Turtles more, but it's just different and a little bit more personal, you know, working on Shade. Right. Anything upcoming we can look forward to aside of what you're working on? Anything? Oh, no, this is taking up all my time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing pencils and inks. I can't do anything else. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I mean, you know, in the future, if, you know, I would love to work on, you know, a book with some of my other friends over at, you know, I have some friends over at Image to do books, but yeah, and this is really just kind of my personal obsession at the moment, so I don't really have time for anything else. <laughs> so Marley Zarconi, yep. thank you very much for your time. Thank you.